Hey, how's it going everybody? It's uh, Dave with Dini Performance. Um, made some uh, headway on the uh, C10. Um, was able to get the motor in. I uh, got the transmission together, motor in. Um, took me a little bit of time. Uh, you know, I ended up, I should have marked the, the uh, motor mounts that I had babbed up and Unfortunately, I didn't, so it took me a little bit longer to figure out, you know, how everything went together. Um, probably would have saved myself about a good hour and a half if I would have did that. But, anyways, this is what it is. <clears throat> got uh, got everything pretty much tightened down, bolted bolted down, and now I'm working on uh, ITC billets um, bracketry kit right now. Okay, so uh, here's ITC Billet's um, bracket kit. It's the uh, truck alternator kit. I think it's truck and power steering. So, uh, but it comes like this. They usually ship it to you in a box like that. And um, it comes packaged really, really nice. I really like their products. Um, their instructions are really straightforward. Uh, yeah, so it's the alternator and then power steering and then this is the uh, LS belt tensioner relocation bracket. So um, this kit I think is like $169 or something, but um, it really makes the motor stand out. It, uh, especially on the jet boat, I use their alternator bracket kit and then I also use their um, dyno plugs for the uh, for the water inlet and the outlet because you, on, on jet boats you don't really use the water pump uh, we just we discard that and then uh, the way we set the jet boats up is you you run them off of the, the the jet and then you can plumb them in just like if you're plumbing it in on it but <clears throat> this is the way their their stuff uh, uh, comes um, it comes sectioned off to you so you can just take you know you can take your scissors and then just start with, you know, usually cut the instructions out. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, <clears throat> cut, you know, cut this off, we'll open this, I'm gonna open this up and uh, kinda go through everything and see where everything needs to go. See what's going on right now. Uh, I had to take the water pump off in order to get this bracket in here. Um, it was the easier way to do it, which is not a big deal. Um, so this bracket comes in the alternator uh, packaging kit, and uh, you just gotta take the water pump off. And and um, I think it's a what is that a six? Yeah, I think it's a six. And then uh, so we just got that stuff right there left to do for the alternator side of things, and then. Okay guys, I uh, got the uh, other uh, front bracketry uh, in there, put the pump back on. Um, <clears throat> what you want to do, because uh, you want to get this up there and then lay the, uh, the alternator in there, so you kind of want to leave this a little bit loose. This is a 14 millimeter. Um, I think it's a M10 by uh, 130. And there's four of these bolts in here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, two for this lower piece and then I'm assuming the other two uh, M10 one, uh, by 130 or for the uh, you know for the alternator of course um, this to your application um, and then I just picked up this this uh, I was gonna use a used alternator uh, I did on the jet boat and it worked out fine um, unfortunately the the alternator well it's gone now it's at the store but because I use it for a core um, I just went down and picked up a reman uh, from Parts Authority. I'm probably going to get some junkyard footage. Uh, I've got to go down to the junkyard and see if I can't scavenge uh, a uh, four pin connect engine bay fuse box off of probably a Tahoe or something. So, anyway, uh, let's get this all together and then um, we'll see you guys on the next clip. Okay, guys, uh, we're moving on to the. Um, belt tensioner uh, relocation bracket kit um, pretty much already cut it comes cut it will cut the packaging part uh, comes with a new um, pulley 
Uh, so you got to reuse, <coughs> you got to reuse the stock uh, pulley. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll get this thing and this, this bolts on over here and, and then the, the uh, power steering bracket, I think it's over here somewhere. And then we'll get, go ahead and get, um, we'll get this on and then I'll do kind of a, a little bit of a step by step here. Uh, so I've got the, I've got the uh, pulley on the bench, the t or the, I'm sorry, the tensioner on the bench. So uh, let me go ahead and get the uh, pulley off that and then I'll come back. Okay, so um, we're getting set up here to put this on. I've already got the tensioner off or the pulley off, old pulley off the tensioner. Um, we're, we're on this part right here. We're going to put the bracket on. And we're going to use this uh, M8 by uh, 50 mil. And what you got to do is you got to take uh, this guy out right here. You got to discard him out from the valve cover because we're going to use that spot. And then um, utilize this one too. So we got to take this guy out. <clears throat> and then uh, we're going to use this hole right here. So uh, let me go ahead and get this. Uh, bolt it on here and, and then you'll I'll bring you guys back you're gonna use your old tensioner you're gonna take the old pulley off and they give you a new uh, tensioner pulley um, this one's not grooved it's just uh, just like s smooth just kind of like the water pump um, you are gonna use this and then uh, you're gonna disregard or dis discard two of the valve cover bolts uh, front valve cover bolts and I just kind of got this in place right now just holding this up and then um, you're going to use the uh, M10 uh, by 60 and then let's see M10 by 60 and then the uh, 110 spacer and then there's another spacer that's I don't know if you guys can see that but it's right there um, uh, 70 70 thou and a 70 thou right here so uh let me go ahead and uh continue with this bring you guys back so uh i got <clears throat> i got the uh bracket pretty much mounted to the uh block here and then also the uh, old tensioners on here right now um what you want to do you gotta kind of have to juggle uh holding both these spacers right here uh because what happens is that uh, pushes the, the uh, tensioner up against the bracket and then you can um, uh, go ahead and put the last two bolts in but uh, this is pretty straightforward easy uh, and uh, there's not much to this one it actually looks pretty nice I do need to kind of clean this tensioner up but um, we'll just get it all together and then I can always take the, the tensioner off later if I want to decide to paint it or whatever I need to do but uh, go ahead and uh, finish this up and then I'll come back okay guys uh, got the uh, last step done uh, this is pretty straightforward it looks good a lot uh, just just the way it positions everything um, you know you got way more it's way more easier to get to than the factory one so I mean it works out it worked out really good uh it looks good and uh next step is going to be moving on to the power steering bracket hey what is going on guys uh so in at the end of the uh ict billet uh, tutorial there on on installing their uh, bracketry kit or the bracket kit um i lost some of my footage so I'm just going to go ahead and and, and uh, explain kind of what happened. Um, I was under the assumption that, and that's what I get for assuming, I shouldn't assume, but um, that that was utilizing the stock truck power steering pump and this kit that I bought. And the reason I bought this kit, and it had been sitting in the corner for a while and I kind of forgot exactly what I ordered um, should have pulled the number before I started uh, installing it but you know it, it is what it is 
and then you just move forward on some things like that. I didn't want to order a whole new kit just to um, use a stock truck power steering pump. I mean, I, I'll just use that on another project, not a big deal. But uh, the SKU number for the one that I have is uh, 5515-69-3. And this is the uh, LS, uh, LS truck alternator and power steering bracket kit. And what this one does is, it, is you can use an LS1 power steering pump, uh, Camaro, uh, same thing, Camaro, Corvette, power steering pump, and um, it, it's very straightforward. It's kind of like the uh, tensioner and then the alternator bracket uh, kit. The instructions are pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing is, is I had to order a new uh, brand new pump which you know set me back about 70 bucks plus the pulley that was another 30 bucks and I got those from I think I got the pulley from Napa and then I got the uh, pump from AutoZone or something like that and then I had a bunch of to, to do the lines I had a bunch of hydraulic um, lines and stuff here uh, to try to make up um, power steering lines uh, so I just utilized some of the stuff I had here in the garage. Um, probably better than the stock stuff anyway. It's just the way that's routed is a little bit funky. But anyways, so here it is. Um, and it's pretty easy. All, 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 you, all you're going to do is use all these spacers. And it's pretty much bolts to the head. And then you're just sandwiching the pump uh, in between this front bracket. And then these spacers in between the rear bracket and the front bracket and um, everything bolts together it looks good and I actually like it uh, I'm actually kind of uh, happy that I did go with this kit it, it looks um because the other kit I mean it's cool but the thing is you got this big giant bracket that goes up right here and yeah you can utilize all your your stock truck parts and all that but um, it just pretty much puts everything back in the same position. This one, it's it's good. I, I just like the way it looks. Um, yeah, I had to spend the extra money for the for the uh, LS1 power steering pump, but it just it makes it takes the alternator from here, puts it over here, and then it just it looks way better. Um, and then of course, you know, I had some of this hydraulic line uh, sitting in the garage, um, and I just went ahead and and just used that. Uh, I just still got to figure out from here to there to the to the reservoir, and then that's it. And then of course the belt. But uh, um, that's uh, ICT billets um, truck alternator kit truck power steering and bracket kit. And again, the SKU number is 5515-69-3. All right, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, hit the bell for the notifications, and uh, there's gonna be some more content coming your way. Thanks, and I'll talk to you guys later.